Hi everybody, I'm Mike, and this is Prison Architect. And this, um, is basically a continuation from almost exactly where we left off. And, we got some people making some license plates, doing their thing. And... We're back in the red again, but... We made a bunch of stuff. So, we can sell lessons, please. Garbage deliveries, exports. Oh, we're gonna get money for that. Yeah, right away. There we go. So we've got that set up. Four dollars cash flow. That's not promising. Hmm. Well, we should be making seven hundred and seventy-eight dollars a day. Problem is. stop that because nobody is interested. This is going on. Uh, don't have to worry about that. Don't have to worry about that. And I guess just for the ongoing programs we'll leave that going for the time being. And we should as a result have more money coming in. There we go. No reason to have all that set up for um, for courses and, and stuff like that that aren't being completed or, or I mean even thought about. So so I know it's a little bit early to think about this, but I'm thinking that we're probably going to want to expand. I'm thinking. I'm not going to expand it across the street like I did last time, I don't think. Um, but down is definitely an option. It's so hard to expand down. Yeah, that, that'd still be a pretty considerable chunk of land. It'd be $20,000. I know that's, like I said, we're, we're a ways off from that, but that's definitely something that we can do, throw in some more cell blocks and, and whatnot. Um, let's go and see. Not staff. Prisoners. They want to give us 11 prisoners still. That's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Um. You know, another thing that we can do is uh... We don't need so many workmen. We just simply don't need them. We're not building at the same clip that we once were, and once we start building again, it's not like we need eight of them. I mean, we can wait a little while for something to be built. Uh, when we first started, having eight workmen to build a building was 
more vital, but now they don't need it to be completely, completely done ASAP. We've got more money coming in, which is nice. I'm not gonna... I'm not going to complain about that. Oh, that's a slow patrol. You're on free time right now, huh? Well, I think that when it ticks around to work time it's going to be at 11 I am going to do a search of the cell blocks just to be on the safe side because we haven't done that in a little while and I think that that might be prudent alright Well, we haven't found anything earth-shattering yet. Oh! There we go. I had my suspicions. Two spoons. You guys clearly need help. Okay, so we've got ten people in lockdown, and the escape artist, I believe, is going to go to solitary. There you go. So you, you got two spoons, so you're going to be in lockdown for a little bit. You are in lockdown. You okay? Wow, you're in here for a while, aren't you? I'm just an ordinary guy until they killed his wife and he hacked their computers and heads. Okay. Well. That, that sounds like a personal issue. <laughs> When I set my punishments uh, in my previous prison, they were a lot more um, severe. But um, that was making it so that people were missing out on too many meals and stuff like that. Because if you don't go to the canteen, you don't get fed. Also, while you're in solitary, you don't you aren't allowed to go to the showers. So. Negative money again. Well, I'm be a little proactive and sell some things.
That's a bunch of no good. Let's see. I was thinking that if I hired that guy and hired a couple of guards and completed my grant objective, then it would bring me back to where I wanted to be in terms of my bank balance. But they don't let you do that because that is severely cheesing things. change that temporarily mill quality medium Let's see if we can make some some cash back from that there we go fifty one dollars cash flow It'd be nice to get to a point where, at the end of the day, I'm not staring down negative balance. And then once we start doing that, and start making a little bit of money, again, we can, uh maybe get this grant uh, taken care of and make a bunch of a lump sum. Just a bunch of dudes hanging out in the shower, huh? You want recreation? Well, you'll have free time in a, in a little bit. food there we go they're not complaining about the food so they're still getting a lot of it just the quality is a little bit lower than it was So it looks as though we may have found a way to fix our uh, our income problem. Let's uh, needs here. Why is hygienic critical? You guys have the opportunity to take a shower. Exercise, yeah, that's totally something you could be doing right now. Recreation. Hmm. Hygiene seems to be an issue, and I'm not entirely sure why. My prison is nice and clean for the most part. And they get the opportunity to take a shower. I think they get the opportunity to take a shower twice a day. Let's have a look real quick. Yeah. Twice a day. They get three hours to shower if they really want. Anyway. 
if you like this episode or you just want to support the series, feel free to go ahead and click on that good old like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you feel like that's something that you want to do, that button is there too. If you want to join me on Facebook, Twitter, or Steam, you can do that by clicking on one of the links in the description down below or bring it right to where you need to go. Um, if you have any positive or negative feedback, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. But I've been Mike, and you have been you, and this has been Prison Architect. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!